everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you guys are keeping well and staying safe. In the next series of videos, we shall learn about our gut health. Did you know your body contains trillions of bacteria? Bacteria, fungi, parasites and viruses are referred to as microorganisms or microbes for short. Trillions of these microbes are present mainly in our intestines and on our skin. It is estimated that a 70 kg man with about 1.7 meters height may have around 40 trillion bacterial cells and only 30 trillion human cells. Most of the microbes in our intestines are found in a pocket of our large intestine called cecum and they are collectively known as the gut microbiome or the gut bacteria or even gut flora. Of these trillions of bacteria, there are about 1000 species of bacteria and each of them play a different role in our body. Most of them are extremely important for our health while others may cause disease. Every individual has an entirely unique network of microbiota that is originally determined by one's DNA. They are first exposed to microorganisms as an infant, during delivery in the birth canal and through mother's breast milk. Exactly which microorganism the infant is exposed to depends solely on the species found in the mother. Later on, environmental exposures and diet can change one's microbiome to be either beneficial to health or place one at risk for disease. Why is the gut bacteria important for our health? There are a number of different ways in which the gut bacteria can affect key bodily functions and influence our health. The first is the gut bacteria helps to digest fiber. Gut microbes are essential in helping us to take nutrients. Sugars like table sugar and lactose are quickly absorbed in the upper part of the small intestine. But more complex carbohydrates like starches or fibers are not as easily digested and may travel lower to the large intestine. Here, certain bacteria in our gut microbiome help to break down these components with their digestive enzymes to produce short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids is used by our body as a nutrient source but also play an important role in muscle function and possibly in the prevention of chronic diseases including certain cancers and bowel disorders. Clinical studies have shown that short-chain fatty acids may be useful in the treatment of ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease and antibiotic-associated diarrhea, helping control our immune system. The gut flora also controls how our immune system works. By communicating with the immune cells, the gut microbiome can control how our body responds to infections. Certain species of gut microbiome can help produce chemicals in the brain called neurotransmitters. For example, serotonin is an antidepressant neurotransmitter that's mostly made in the gut. Besides that, the gut is physically connected to the brain through millions of nerves. Therefore, the gut microbiome may also affect brain health by helping control the messages that are sent to the brain through these nerves. Researchers have observed links between the gut microbiome and psychological disorders such as depression and autistic spectrum disorder. The gut flora also helps in production of certain vitamins and amino acids. Our gut microbiome assists in production of certain vitamins including the B vitamins and vitamin K. For example, the key enzymes needed to form vitamin B12 are only found in bacteria, not in plants and animals. Our gut microbiome will provide protection from disease-causing organisms that enter the body such as through drinking or eating contaminated water or food. These microbes are believed to prevent the overgrowth of harmful bacteria by competing for nutrients and attachment sites to mucous membranes of the gut, a major site for immune activity and production of antimicrobial proteins. The gut microbiome also plays a role in type 2 diabetes. The intestinal microbiota may play an important role in the onset of type 2 diabetes by influencing body weight, bile acid metabolism, pro-inflammatory activity, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and insulin resistance. An imbalance of healthy and unhealthy microbes is sometimes called gut dysbiosis and it may contribute to weight gain. As we can see, the gut bacteria plays a significant role in numerous body functions. Therefore, I think we should do all we can to improve our gut bacteria. Join me in the next series of video where we shall learn more about our friendly gut bacteria. That's all for today. See you next week. Hey everyone, if you liked today's video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel 
so you will not miss my weekly videos where I shall be empowering you to lead a healthy life. You can also follow me on my Facebook or Insta to get daily health tips and recommend to your loved ones as well. Meanwhile, if you have any questions or feedback or even any topics that you would like me to discuss, feel free to type in the comment box. Thank you for watching.